have some breakfast? No, I'm all right. I've got to go back and get ready for work. Mm. Are you not going to wait until Jackson gets out of the shower? He's going to be in that wet room for ages. You know what he's like. Here, you don't think he's trying to drown himself in there, do you? Do you think he meant what he said to you? Not they better have. Could have just been saying it for your benefit. Look, he said he'd give us a chance, yeah? So it's up to us to persuade him that life is worth living. What? Never had you down as little Miss Sunshine. I'll do whatever it takes. See you later. See ya. Yeah, yeah, that sounds great. I'll tell him now. All right, cheers. You'll tell me what? That was Joe. I asked him to fix up a night out for you. What kind of night out? Well, a few others, you know, with problems. You mean disabilities? Some, not everyone. So you're my social secretary now? There'll be people there who know what you're going through. They can help. Says you. What have you got to lose? Me and Aaron were having a little chat this morning while you were in the shower. Plotting behind my back. Uh, you could say so, but not about the night out. That was all my idea. <laughs> so go on then, spill. He was talking about what you promised him. About giving us the chance to persuade you. And? And we're agreed. We're going to show you how good your life can be. It's going to be a tough gig. We'll get there. Well, you can start by not getting on my nerves. Absolutely. If you think I'm wittering on or interfering or doing too much for you, then just say so. Oh, you mean, I, I don't know, but arranging a night out for me without me saying yes first, something like that? Mm, that's different. You'll have a great time. She's that loved up that she's all over the place. Like before, she was supposed to be doing an oil change and nearly drained the gearbox. Then, when I told her, she just laughed. That's a power I love. And my mum tells me that you two have got something similar in mind for me. Yes, we have. It's going to be a laugh a minute from now on. A night out with the bunch of tetraplegics, I don't think so. Could be all right. Mum reckons they know what I'm going through and they're going to be able to help me. Yeah, well, maybe they will. I mean, the first time I was going to Bar West, I was bricking it. But luckily, I found someone who knew what I was going through. Yeah, that was different, though. I thought you were fit. God knows why. I mean, you can always just give it a try, and if you don't like it, you don't have to go again. God, I hate you and you're being sensible. <laughs> and there are always other people who can help you. Like who? You know who? No. I'm not seeing a counsellor, not in a million years. All right, OK, don't get stressed out. And you got to swear to me. Don't tell anybody about me wanting to top myself, please, Aaron. Brilliant. Blow my big chance, I was going to go on the local news. Mm, very amusing. <laughs> 